Hello folks, did you know that every year approximately 10 million people fall ill with tuberculosis or TB and about 1.5 million people die from it, hence making it one of the most dangerous killers in the world. In 2020, there are more than 800,000 people contracted with TB and about 14,000 people die from it in Indonesia alone. So, let's talk about it in detail and see why it is so dangerous. First, let's meet this little killer named Mycobacterium tuberculosis, a type of bacteria behind this deadly disease. We can be infected by this type of bacteria via inhalation, and when these little guys infect people's lung, they can cause respiratory problems such as coughing, chest pain, and even coughing up blood. However, the story doesn't end there. When the TB bacteria spread from the lung to the other organs, things could get really messy. This phenomenon is called extrapulmonary tuberculosis, or EPTB for short. Here's another bad news. EPTB is very difficult to diagnose. Some supportive examinations like the Mantux test or microbial analysis can only be done when the infection is already on the advanced stage, which means it will be harder for the doctors to treat the patients. Well, the good news is, now there is a potential technique to conquer this problem which involves the use of a pharmaceutical compound. But what is a pharmaceutical compound, you ask? Well, don't worry folks, I will tell you. With this technique, a doctor injects a certain substance bonded with a radioactive element to the patient. The substance will then interact with the targeted receptor while the radioactive element will allow the doctor to observe it by medical imaging. Researchers from the Center for Radioisotope and Radiopharmaceutical Technology or CRRT, National Nuclear Energy Agency, have developed ethambutol kit pharmaceuticals. An ethambutol molecule bonded with radionuclide technetium 99 m will specifically interact with the cell wall of the TB bacterium when the substance is injected to the patient. And then, the technetium 99 m which radiates gamma ray, will allow the doctor to trace where the substance is going by using gamma camera. Pretty cool, right? And here's another good news. The use of this radiopharmaceutical kit has been approved by the National Agency of Drug and Food Control of Indonesia or the Indonesian FDA. And CRRT will collaborate with Kimia Pharma for the distribution of the kit. With the ethambutol radiopharmaceutical kit, the diagnosis of TB is expected to be faster, so the doctor can give a proper treatment to save the patient. Yeah,